No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands and I also teach you guys how to start your own social media marketing agency, how to build it, get your first client, scale it and then live life on your own terms. And I feel like I've done this video a couple of times in a few different variations, but it's still a very frequently asked question in terms of how to get your first client if you haven't got the experience and then i also get all kinds of questions like okay how do i send over a portfolio without the results um if they ask for results what do i do to you know what what what, what answer do i give what do i need to say if they ask for my experience and so on and so forth and there are basically three ways on how you can answer the question um, or basically how you can approach the clients if you are just starting out, okay? So if you've got no experience whatsoever, there are basically three things that you can do. As you can see here, I've already written it down on the board. The first one is the student's approach, and this is very, very effective, and it's probably the easiest way to do it as well. And it's basically just to be honest and come clean to your potential clients, okay? So what you do is, let's say for example, you are looking for a client in the real estate niche or industry, okay? So you're looking for realtors to set up Facebook ads for. What you do is you basically come clean and mention to the potential client that you are new to this industry, okay? So you can still create the impression that you've got experience with Facebook ads in general and that you understand social media, you understand digital marketing, but that for that particular industry, so the real estate industry, which is what industry the client is in, you have limited experience, okay? So you say, I have limited experience in the real estate niche and industry, but I'm very, very eager to learn. And uh, you know, basically what I want to do now is take on a couple of clients for a limited fee, um, you know, to build up my experience, to build up a portfolio, and to basically build up long-term relationships, okay? So what that then does for the potential client is it gives that client the opportunity to invest into ads, you know, help someone out, you know, help an agency out in terms of building up their portfolio and basically do that for a limited fee because, you know, it, they know, well, nowadays everyone knows that Facebook ads and digital marketing and social media marketing agencies have high retainers because it's a value-based price okay if you can get that person results and you know you can sell one house for a realtor for example and the house costs a million they get two percent commission that is 20k if my maths are correct there and then you know within one month you've earned that business owner 20k and people know that so that is why for real estate you know often more often than not the retainers are between two and five k okay so if you can get a real estate um, business owner to pay you let's say 500 or maybe even just 100 to set up the ads you know get some kind of result then you know that business owner can really really benefit from it and you get the experience and you get the client um you know be it for a limited fee or a limited retainer but once you get that client and you get the results you can then upsell that client for a higher retainer or a higher fee okay so what you do is you basically come clean to that business owner you explain that you've got limited experience but that you are basically looking to take on a couple of clients um you know to basically exchange value so you learn how to do it you get the experience you can build up a portfolio and they get your service for a limited fee okay so that is basically option number one option number two is similar to it but a little bit more difficult where you don't come clean but you just offer a free trial okay so basically what you're trying to do is prevent the question of have you got experience because more often than not they will ask you that because they want to know if you're worth the retainer that you are asking Okay, so if you want to prevent that, but you don't want to come clean or pretend that you are uh, basically new to the industry, which you, know, you probably are if you're in this situation, then you can just say, okay, I'm looking to take on a client for a free trial, um, you know, just as proof of concept, proof of business, uh, provided that if I do get results that we can move on in a paid manner. Okay, so for the first month, you will not get paid anything. The only thing that the business owner needs to pay is the ad budget and then as soon as you've gotten the results or you know you're one month or two months down the line depending on what you agree with the business owner 
you know, you can review the results, you know, the business owner then basically decides if you have in the business, have you validated sort of the case study, you know, is, is there proof of concept? If there is, then, you know, you guys can basically renegotiate, rediscuss, and possibly move on in a paid manner. Okay, this is great because basically there's a low barrier to entry for the business owner. Uh, there's not a lot of risk involved other than, um, you know, a couple of hundred in ad budgets. And for you, um, it's easier to get a client uh, you know, for free than it is to basically convince a client of getting a, uh, or paying a 1500 a month retainer, for example. So, you know, you can create that win-win situation, but for the first month, you will not get paid, okay? So that is basically the, the, the paradox, you know, that is what you need to basically decide. Is it worth it? Or, you know, would you rather go in a paid manner? Which brings me to option number three is basically fake it till you make it where, you know, if you are just starting out, you basically explain what is possible and, you know, what you can basically do rather than just showing them what you've already done, okay? So this same goes with the case study or the portfolio or anything like that. If they ask for your experience or if they ask for a portfolio, just say, I have got a case study, is it okay if I send that over? A case study does not necessarily mean that you've done it yourself, okay? A case study is just of what is possible, okay? So then what you do is you explain what is possible in their industry. Again, let's take realtors. So you basically explain or you look on the internet, you know, you try and find information on that industry. You explain about uh, Facebook ads, media buying, you know, how you can get results for them, how you can get them more sales, more clients, more uh, potential buyers, potential sellers, and so on and so forth. You explain how much a lead would cost, what would happen, you, you'd map out the entire flow. So you'd say, okay, we are gonna set up lead generation ads. We are gonna get you people to uh, that inquire through the ads. I will export that file to you and then you can ring all those people up. Or we can set up a automated system with software like Zapier so that they get an automatic email and they can sign up. And you, know, you basically explain everything that you can do for that potential business and you create the impression that you can do this for them and that you have experience with it, okay? Fake it till you make it. This is obviously a risky move because if they do call you out on it, then you know there's nothing really you can do and you've probably ruined that relationship there. Whereas if you offer the free trial or you take the student's approach, which is the honest approach, then you, know, you basically, you can't be called out because they know that you haven't got the experience. Okay, so they are the three options basically. And like I said, in terms of the portfolio, if they ask for a portfolio, just give them a, gener like a generic case study with what is possible. Okay, so that is all I've got for today, guys. I just wanted to quickly go over the three methods of getting a client with limited to no experience. If you are struggling with, you know, basically setting up your own media buying agency or your own digital marketing agency, and you basically want some help along the way, I do offer coaching. There are limited spots available. You know, there's no fake scarcity, anything like that. My time is literally limited. You know, there's almost there's only so many people or clients, potential you know students I can take on. So uh, if that is something that you are interested in, it will be linked in the description box down below. If you're on the fence about it, you're not really 100% sure um, what I can do for you, then we can also hop on a free. Um, no strings attached discovery call basically where basically I get a bit more of an insight into who you are what you want what your goals are I can explain what I do if you think we're a right fit for each other if I think we're a right fit for each other then I'll basically make you the offer of you know working together and you know basically offering you the one-on-one -on -one coaching and then if we both agree that's a good fit we can move forward from there if not no hard feelings you can also just subscribe to my channel for more and check out the videos and try and do it all by yourself so like i said guys subscribe to the channel for more like this video if you got some outfit and i'll see you guys in the next one